welcome back to Mina Wonders. So if it's your first time here, I'm Mina and this is a booktube channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, as some of you might know, I'm in grad school for creative writing and I'm approaching my final two terms in school, which is both really, really exciting but also really, really scary. So this term is my last term for coursework. So after this, I'll just be spending around three months reviewing for my comprehensive exams. <sighs> I'm super duper nervous, but I'm also kind of excited. Um, at first, honestly, I was feeling really, really sad about finishing grad school online, so to speak, just because there's not that same celebratory air, you know, where you can kind of go out with your friends, like spend insane amounts of time like working together in a library or at cafes. But also, I guess it is also time like to <laughs> to graduate from that and see what's next. So yeah, I'm also psyched for it. And I'm also psyched to be working on my thesis, which is going to be a creative poetry thesis. And I'm basically gonna have to write like a long ass exegetic essay and also 45 poems. And I know that this channel, of course, um, kind of thrives on book reviews and that sort of thing. But to be honest, I think most of the books that I will be reading for the next few months will probably be for my comprehensive exams. Um, I think it would be probably a little bit impractical for me <laughs> to expect um, to read like a shit ton of leisurely things as well as my comprehensive stuff. So yeah, I thought that um, I would probably focus more on productivity and on the things that I'm reading for my comprehensive exams just for this period that I'm going through because I also want to document it for myself and it might also be interesting <laughs> for you guys um, who are looking to go to grad school who are looking to study something creative in the coming months or years or whatever. And yeah, I can do a couple of videos centering around that too, like going to school online versus going to school in real life um, as a postgrad or as uh, someone who is a bit older or who kind of was immersed fully in that system because I do think it's different. Like I have a niece who's 10 years old and she's super taken to this format of studying online because I think that's um, kind of more natural to them in the sense that they're really digital native. Anyway, so today I'm going to be doing uh, my desk tour because I am actually going to be changing my setup a little bit for Compre. So that'll be a different uh, video because I'm super excited. Um, I'm excited, but at the same time, I also want to document my current setup because I think it's a setup that's allowed me to do so many things. So last December, I quit my full-time job, which was as a business manager. Basically, this like job that was a combination of program development, <laughs> sales, and just like managing a lot of operational stuff. So I quit in December to do freelance slash part-time work and I've been juggling grad school and two part-time jobs. So one of those part-time jobs I will actually be letting go of because of Compre, but I still have one part-time job. So yeah, so it's basically allowed me to do so many things and I thought that this video would be kind of me paying homage to my current setup and also showing you guys something that might inspire you, that might um, be helpful for you as well if you're trying to set your desk up uh, sort of on a budget. I'll include also how much I spent for the things that I bought specifically for this setup. Of course, that's not going to include like the computers and stuff because I've owned that stuff for like almost a year, two years now, depending on the exact thing that I'm talking about. So, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy it. And of course, the usual caveats for YouTube. This isn't to brag or to make anyone feel bad. <laughs> I am a little bit older than most of the people here. I'm like 30. And uh, yeah, and I work my ass off for this stuff. So, so you can too, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I hope you enjoy. So this is what my main setup looks like. I have my dual monitor computer setup in the middle, my snacks and water on the left side, and then my books, notebooks, and tarot decks on the right side. This desk is from an online store called thebeginningofthings.com and it's the Lenox 120cm desk. It was pretty affordable for what it is and it's got a lot of shelving and storage options which I definitely need. 
This chair is probably the most expensive thing in the setup for what it is. It's made of faux leather and this really nice light wood wash. The thing that I love about this chair though is just how much back support it has. That's something that I really need because I'm very very prone to back aches, sciatica, that kind of thing. These are my two monitors. So I have a MacBook Pro. This is the 2019 model, 13 inches. And then I have a regular iPad. I think this is the 7th or 8th generation iPad. And I basically use my iPad as a second screen. And this is super helpful for me because I can monitor zoom on one screen and present on the other, which makes it easier and less prone to slip ups. And on the studying side as well, I can have my PDF of like journal articles and sources on the right side and my main document for like my papers and stuff on the left. This is a retro keyboard. It's from a brand called Rococo's Dream and it has this really really cute light up feature. This is a lot cheaper than most retro mechanical keyboards and I found it on Shopee. I'll try and link it below for those of you guys who are interested. Here's some ASMR. I'm sorry about the uh, buzzing of the AC. Okay, so this is my mouse and this is the cheapest thing here. It was 150 pesos on Shopee. So let's go to the right side of my desk. My chargers are a mess. I'm so sorry. But here I have books, notebooks, and my tarot decks because tarot reading is also something that I do part-time. So I read for clients on Instagram, on Zoom, and it's just been a really, really good way to help people out as well through this pandemic. On the left side of my desk, I have this plant that I'm super duper proud of because I've kept it alive. It's from a plant store called Sage Manila, and then I have some of my favorite crystals as well. This is citrine, which is for good fortune and abundance. This is rhodonite, which is good for emotional trauma. And this is aventurine, which is good for luck, energy, and just flow in general. This is my water bottle, which is from my friend Trish. <laughs> the brand is Contigo, and it's just good for cold drinks, basically. Water, and easy to carry as well, which is great. And lastly, let's end with a snack. This is Tater's White Cheddar Popcorn, and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!